Welcome to German history with a German accent. My name is Wolf, W-O-L-F, just like the animal. And in today's video, I'm speaking about Hannah Reitsch. As always, if you enjoy these videos, please hit the like and subscribe button. And don't forget to drop me a comment below. Hannah Reitsch was born on March 29th in the year 1912 in Hirschberg in Silesia. As daughter of the physician Willi and Emmy Reitsch, as second of three children. As a child, she already dreamed about becoming a pilot. In her free time, she rode her bike to a glider airport, where she met Van Herr von Braun in the early 1930s. Reitsch would remain friends with the developer of the V-2 missile throughout of all her life. After she graduated school in the year 1931, she began studying medicine in Berlin and Kiel in the following year. Also in 1932, Hannah Reitsch earned her pilot's license for both glider and motorized airplanes and set her first record when she was airborne in a glider for five and a half hours. In the following year, she took a job as flight instructor in Schwäbisch Gmünd and joined an expedition in Brazil and Argentina. After four semesters of studying medicine, she left university without graduating. In June of the year 1935, Hannah Reitsch became a test pilot for the Deutsche Versuchsanstalt für Segelflug, a research institute for glider airplanes. In the following year, she set a distance record for glider airplanes after she had traveled 305 kilometers or 189 miles. In the year 1937, Hannah Reitsch was recruited by the Luftwaffe and was given the title of Flugkapitän Ehrenhalber, Ehrenhalber basically meaning it is an honorary title, by Ernst Udet. Check out the video I made about him by clicking on the little eye in the top right of this video. In the same year, Hannah Reitsch also set a distance world record for helicopter flights after she flew the Focke Wolf FW-61 helicopter for 109 kilometers or 67 miles. The same model she also flew inside the Deutschlandhalle in Berlin. During the course of the Second World War, Hannah Reitsch tested multiple new aircrafts, including the Messerschmitt ME-163, which was a rocket-powered interceptor. With this airplane, she was only allowed to test the cell design. She therefore was pulled in, in the air by a second airplane, and her ME-163 was not propelled by the rocket power. She did, however, suffer an injury on her head while landing the airplane. Reitsch also tested the Horton H2 motor glider flying wing made by the Horton brothers. During her time as a test pilot, Hannah Reitsch was injured numerous times and for her efforts she was awarded both classes of the Iron Cross as well as the Pilot Observer's Badge in gold. She was in favor of the flying bomb strategy of the Luftwaffe, where pilots should fly manned bombs into strategic targets of the Allies, similar to the Japanese kamikazes. By the end of the Second World War, it was Hannah Reitsch whom flew Robert Ritter von Greim. You can find a video I made about him if you click the eye in the top right of this video into the by the Red Army encircled city of Berlin in a Fiesler Storch. Grime was there promoted to the rank of Generalfeldmarschall, as well as the supreme commander of the Luftwaffe, after Hitler fired Göring. A few days later, Hannah Reitsch was able to fly out Robert Ritter von Grime with the last airplane that left Berlin. Both of them ultimately became uh, American prisoners of war in Kitzbühel. Hannah Reitsch grew up in a family with a German national view which didn't quite welcome the Weimar democracy and was looking to reverse the Treaty of Versailles. This political view was very close to the view of the NSDAP, so Reich, like her family, were in a way early supporters of Adolf Hitler and remained a supporter until the end of the war. Yet she clearly distanced herself from racial policies and also did not agree with the National Socialist image of a woman who believed the woman's sole purpose was to be a wife and mother. 
Hanna Leitch also was never a member of the NSDAP. When she published several books after the end of the Second World War, she did mention and explain meetings with Göring, Hitler and Himmler, but did not add any critical judgment to those meetings. I am posting a few affiliate links in the description box below if you like to read more about her. If you buy through these links, I will receive a small commission. In the time after the war, Hannah Reich remained a pilot. For her expertise, she was invited to India in 1959. Two years later, she was invited by John F. Kennedy. She built a glider airport in Ghana and also flew the president of Ghana. And Hannah Reich died on August 24th in the year 1979 in Frankfurt am Main at the age of 67. During her life time she kept setting many flight records which I will also write in the description box below. A few examples were she was the first woman to cross the Alps in a glider airplane and she was also the first woman to fly a jet. She flew both the Messerschmitt ME262 and the Heinkel HE162. Thank you so much for watching.